I've been working in clay for a long time, mostly making articulated sculptures that involve rings, interlocking rings like this, ones that you can handle and move around. But I have, other, have had other ideas while working that I couldn't represent working with the methods I was working before. And that's how I started on this track of thinking about the individual in our culture and how the individual interacts with the rest of society and and basically the the breakdown or the diminishing effects and dependence on the community that we as humans have developed over time. The, the tactile component of my work is is critical to the way I work. I think a lot of people who work in clay have a, a, a haptic or a, a need to, to feel the, and manipulate their materials. Clay is an ancient material that has been used for millennia. Um, it's a major component in archaeology. If you think about it, all the ceramic vessels that have been unearthed what a ceramic vessel can tell us, they represented the economics of the times, they're recorded with accounting marks, remnants of food that had been traded, let's say ol olive, olive oil, um, in ancient jars and vessels, can tell a lot of which cultures traded with other cultures. The evolution of humanity has been paralleled with development of ceramics. The paradigm that I work within has to do with the role of the individual in the community. I'm particularly interested of that role and how it manifests in the, for example, the food industry. Uh, you know, we've we've gotten used to. Uh, being able to walk into any restaurant, well not any restaurant, but let's say your cat coffee shop, and getting a disposable cup, and then just being able to, to walk to work or wherever you're going, and that lack of being necessitating you to stay there and drink your coffee gives us a, a real freedom to act individually. And I'm interested in how, in some ways, that has broken down our mutual dependence on each other when it comes to um, eating together or gathering for any reason. Um, in many traditions, uh, for example, Chinese calligraphy, you'd come home after a day of work and you would practice your calligraphy, and it wasn't necessarily defined as um, therapeutic or your downtime or time for your creative side. It was really just part of your daily functioning. We've lost that. I mean, I have students who, of mine who come to class and tell me how therapeutic it is to work in clay or to just to come to class and that indicates to me that there's there's both a need for art classes but that so many people require art for therapeutic reasons um, and it can be so much more. It can be academic, it can be philosophical, and it can be totally integrated into just daily functioning. The way I work is I, I get an idea and, and I'll work it out and I'll, I'll make something. I'll make this clay oven. But the practice of, of working and making things generates other ideas. And then these other ideas motivate me to make something. And that will feed back into this loop where I'm continually making and developing and my ideas are developing. So I'm not necessarily working purely from a conceptual perspective, but the manifestation of these ideas also feeds into the loop. And I just continue to expand and create on this.